Hello and welcome everybody to Game 2 of Violet vs. Illusion from the North American Playhem Daily. This is going to be Game 2 of a best of three, and spawning in the bottom right hand position of Antigua Shipyards as the Red Terran, playing from Team OGS, we have Illusion. The winner of Game 1, spawning in the top left position as the Yellow Zerg, we have Violet. Now if Violet takes game two here, he is going to be taking the match. So, uh, gonna have to see if he can pull through or will Illusion be tying it up, pushing it to a game three. We will have to find out. Now Violet did win game one with an absolutely fantastic little early game push. He saw all those Hellions at the front and it's very, very typical for Zerg to see Hellions and produce a few Roaches just to keep those Hellions back long enough for them to take their third. That's usually the goal of getting out some early Roaches to get those Hellions away from the front of your base, finally secure a little bit of map control, and then uh, start to uh, take your third and start to spread your creep, do all that kind of stuff. But Violet instead just decided, you know what, if I'm going to be producing roaches, I'm going to produce a bunch of roaches, throw down a baneling nest, get some speedlings and some banelings, and uh, just go for a huge attack at the front, and uh, Illusion just wasn't able to hold it off, was going for a pretty quick expansion, and uh, just didn't really have enough forces to hold it off, despite having gone Marauders to anticipate the Roach tech switch, just didn't quite have enough to really be able to uh, stop that many Roaches. So, here in Game 2 on Antigua Shipyards, we are cross position in spawns right now, so that is usually going to mean a little bit longer of a macro game, but Violet, I have to say, is very known for his aggression. He likes his early aggression, he likes to take early control of the game, and likes to try to set the pace of the game. That's the important thing. When you start to do lots of attacking and things, often you set the pacing of the game. If both players just kind of sit back and macro, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of neutral. But if one person goes for an attack, then they're immediately setting the rest of the pace of the game. Uh, for the for the most part, for the most part, unless their attack just goes horribly wrong and then their opponent is way ahead in army and all that good stuff, uh, then you generally set the pace of the game by being the early aggressor. Now, uh, Violet is trying to be annoying with this drone, trying to attack uh, SCVs, trying to stop uh, any SCVs from mining on this mineral patch here, but this first marine is out and oh, looks like Violet did manage to steal five minerals, but he is going to die before he can get that second gas steal, uh, as he did in game one. Now, Illusion did get that early gas, so yeah, we do see now the factory is now coming down here for Illusion. In the base of Violet, we do see that the spawning pool has come down, as well as the gas geyser after that hatchery went down. And uh, Illusion is going to be scouting that out, so very standard opening here from Violet. Things that we can expect to see on this map, we can really expect to see anything in these uh, cross-spawn positions. There are uh, not a whole lot of things you can do in the early game that really favor Terran or Zerg in this matchup. Uh, the late game can start to make a, a big deal in terms of expansions. Uh, Terran players generally, once they get their hands on these gold expansions, can be really, 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 really hard to hold off. Just because once they get a planetary fortress up and running at that gold, they pretty much have center map control because they'll likely have lots and lots of siege tanks uh, around the middle of the map and pretty much makes it impossible. If, if a Terran has this gold expansion as a Zerg player, you are almost never ever going to hold this expansion at all and are going to be forced to start taking expansions all around the map. So a lot of Zerg players will just try to end this before a Terran can get to that point or they will just make a point of getting to a fast three bases and constantly just try to deny this base while they start to take fourth bases and fifth bases around the other edges of the map. Maybe even try to take this gold early on and then just stop their opponent from taking this gold for as long as possible. Now Illusion is going for a fast command center once again, going for an almost identical build to game one. We do see that the factory uh, with reactor has been thrown down and Hellions are now being produced and Violet did just get in here with one Marine, or one uh, Zergling rather, so he did see that this factory with reactor did come up and there's a starport now being thrown down here and I don't think Violet saw the starport, oh he did actually see the starport going down so he is going to know that there is going to be a starport on the way here very soon. What will OGS Illusion be using it for though? Will he be getting up some Banshees very early on or is he just going to be going for uh, some medevacs early for his bio force. We will soon find out. Now these two Hellions did get into the base and this is something that always kind of bothers me. Um, this spine crawler placement. Now um, a lot of players, a lot of even professional players, what they will do 
is they will like to have, they will favor having the spine crawler in a forward position because they want to be able to hit uh, Hellions and other forces as they come up the ramp where they can't see the spine crawler. But what so many Terrans will do with these Hellions is they'll just run straight by that spine crawler exactly like we saw uh, Illusion do a moment ago there. And Illusion did get eight workers killed there. Now those Hellions were finally cleaned up and now some Lings are out on the field here for Violet, but we do see a Banshee now coming out here for uh, Illusion. No cloak being researched yet, but we do see that that first Banshee is soon going to be on the way while these Hellions continue to try to keep control of the front, but Violet does not want those Hellions at the front, starting to chase them away with a few Lings and uh, a lot more Lings on the way right now for Violet, and I think he is going to be able to chase these Hellions away, though he could potentially lose a lot of Lings there. Uh, there are three Hellions, but now they're they are just down to two, and looks like they are just going to be pulling all the way back to their base, and oh god, that is what I was talking about with three Hellions or more Lings just die oh so quickly. We do see Spore Crawlers now going down all over the place for Violet, one in each mineral line, so he does know that a Banshee is very uh, possible to see coming very shortly. We do see that the Lair Tech just now is being started here by Violet in the base of Illusion. We do see now he is taking his other three Gas Geysers, so it's kind of a, uh, a little bit later of Geysers, but of course, uh, to be able to have enough minerals to be able to support this many Hellions and a fast expansion, you are going to have to cut gas for quite a while to be able to do so. And we do see the first Banshee is somewhere out on the map. I believe there's a Banshee out here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it yet. Oh, there it is. It's just sitting right at the front of his base. He's not moving it across the map at all, but he is continuing to get a lot of Hellions. We do see currently six Hellions out on the field, and more are still being produced in twos. Two Banshees now out here for Illusion. Looks like he really wants to just kind of surprise his opponent and spring a lot of Banshees on him all at once. And this can be really, really, really strong, um, especially because a lot of Zerg players will just anticipate that well, if there's going to be a Banshee at all, it's going to be one, and it's going to come out really, really fast. But if you can actually get up a lot of Banshees quickly, then it can actually be really, really hard to hold off. There's a lot of Hellions now coming into the base, though. It looks like they are going to be picking off a lot of these Lings. So many Lings going down right now to these Hellions. And these Hellions are taking quite a bit of damage, but so far, I don't think he's lost more than one and he's now going to get into the mineral line there he's going to start to do some damage but beautiful queen placement here by violet blocking off that ramp with just one queen this needs to be done very carefully if you were going to do that at all with just one queen it has to be placed right in the middle and you have to hold position on it or those hellions will just squeak right on by and let's see how much damage was done by those hellions nine workers killed so wow he only got one worker killed off of what he had originally had so wow that was actually a brilliant hold there from violet only lost one worker he did lose a lot but uh, i don't think that is going to be too much of a problem holy cow that is three banshees that is about to get into the main of violet and three banshees will be able to take out a spore crawler so i don't think he's going to be too worried about that but it looks like he is trying to avoid taking damage right now as he's now coming in trying to do some more worker damage. There are three queens out on the field right now, and I think three queens uh, should be able. Oh, that three queens plus a spore can definitely take out three banshees. Oh man, those needs to be very careful with those banshees as he's taken a lot of damage on one, and he hasn't done all that much damage yet so far. Eleven workers killed so far. That means three workers or two workers rather were killed by those banshees. And it looks like he is just going to be pulling that right back, saying, you know what, no, I'd rather keep my Banshees alive for later fights. And a second and third factory has now gone down here for OGS Illusion. We do see Thors now on the way, being produced in twos. We see a Raven coming down as well. So it looks like it is going to be a mech play here from Illusion. Now, mech is one of those uh, styles of play that can be very, very, very strong against Zerg. Thor's ridiculously good against Zerg. Ever since Zerg lost their ability to Neural Parasite, dealing with Thor's is really, really hard to do. You really need uh, either a lot of roaches with a lot of upgrades, or, God, I don't know, Neural Parasite used to be the thing against Thor's. Neural Parasite, you see, if you saw, if you saw Thor's, you would just get a ton of infestors, Neural Parasite, all the Thor's, and that was pretty much how you dealt with them. But ever since the range of the Neural Parasite got nerfed really hard, then Zerg just hasn't had that strong of a uh, counter to Thor's, and so it's been very, very difficult for Zerg to be able to deal with that. Now, this is kind of interesting here from, uh, from Violet. Violet likes to stick on two bases for a very long time. I 
don't know how many Zerg players I have ever seen that will wait until the 13 minute mark and still just be on two bases. And as we can see, he's pumping a lot of Roach Hydra right now. We do see Grooved Spines is on the way. We do see Ventral Sacks actually being researched here by Violet. So uh, we might be seeing some kind of a big Roach Hydra drop here from Violet. We do see plus two attack now on the way somewhere is that evolution chamber. Am I not seeing it? Oh, there it is. There's that evolution chamber researching that plus two missile attacks, and we'd see that OGS Illusion taking a third base. This is actually going to put him hugely ahead in economy against uh, Violet. And does Violet know? That? Yes, Violet does know that this third is now being taken here, and he's sending some lings around to try to do some damage here, but there are Blue Flame Hellions here that did actually see those lings coming in, and they are not going to be able to do too much, as they're going to be taken down so fast by Blue Flame Hellions. And now, uh, Violet is actually not in the best of spots right now. He's pumping a lot of Roach Hydra, but he is down in food count right now. 130 food to the 150 food of Illusion, and Illusion is taking a third base. So I would say things are looking pretty good here for Illusion. If we check out the Harvester count, look at that. Illusion is even ahead in Harvesters right now, so he is in a fantastic position. And oh, these Blue Flame Hellions going to be... Picking off that queen there, scans going down, dropping all those creep tumors, and now he's going to be poking up into this third and seeing, you know what, Violet still hasn't taken a third, but we do see, oh my god, that's a lot of overlords that are all loaded up with roaches and hydralisks, but there is a big, big push coming to the front of the base of Violet, and Violet is going to need to get those back, yeah, he's going to need to pull those back very quickly if he's going to want to be able to deal with this many, there are four Thors, a lot of SCVs have been pulled as well as a lot of Banshees, it is completely okay too that OGS Illusion has pulled this many SCVs right now, he's been, he's on three bases, he's way ahead of his opponent, and we do see, there we go, now we see a lot of units being unloaded here by Violet, as all the roaches coming in from the top lots of roach hydra from down here at his lower position it looks like he's gonna be able to take these units down as these thors uh, are pretty much they just don't fire fast enough and they have no support right now all of the hellions and banshees have been taken out right now and that is one thing that is okay gonna be decent against thors if you just have a lot more units and not enough supporting units for your thors um just because Thors do not fire fast enough, so you, if you can overwhelm them with numbers, then that can actually be very strong. And now Violet is going on the counteroffensive here, as he's going to be moving in right now as he takes his third base, and even taking the gold expansion right now as he moves in with a lot of Roach Hydra. Needs to be careful about this, though, as these Hydras are way slow off creep, and needs to be able to uh, deal with that. Oh, so many SCVs have been pulled off the line now for OGS Illusion, as we have a huge engagement coming down, as there's a lot of repair going down on these Thors, and they are being being healed up so quickly by those SCVs, and now all these roaches and hydras are now going to have to pull back if they are going to want to get away, and oh, that's a lot of overlords that are now taking a lot of fire from these Thors, but now those Thors just being pulled back as uh, Violet, that with that aggression, has managed to establish this third as well as this gold expansion. That's exactly what he needs if he's going to want to get back up uh, to his opponent. Now Violet is finally ahead in Harvester, 53 Harvesters to 48, but uh, the income of Illusion is going to be pretty good here with all these mules mining on that third base. If we check out the workers killed, 23 workers killed for Violet as OGS Illusion was forced to just pull so many workers. We do see that Illusion is going to be taking a fast fourth here and Violet has no vision whatsoever on this fourth base. So that is going to make it a little more difficult for Illusion as uh, this secret base, Violet is most likely not going to scout it because most Terran players will start to go for... Uh, that gold as a fourth base. It's, it's very rare to see a, a Terran player try to go to, and sneak a fourth base up here in this upper position. Now Violet is doing a bit of a drop here both at the third as well as in the main and all the Thors are here to deal with it. Oh no and all the Thors are going to be trapped here by all these Roaches and Hydras. The ones in the main did finally get cleaned up by these three Thors in the main but the Roach Hydra at the front of the base is going to be able to pick off all those Thors as Violet is now moving in going to start to deal a lot of worker damage here to Illusion as Illusion is now pulling all of his SCVs off the line as uh, they're losing quite a few actually to all these roaches and hydras and now uh, Violet Guinness will be starting to focus down this third he is now just starting to mine at this third base as well as this gold base and he is just pumping roaches and hydras non-stop right now or actually just pure roach right now there's nothing else going down on the production tab other than just pure roach right now uh, we see tons and tons and tons and look at the creep spread for Violet it's actually pretty pretty bad right now after losing that many uh, uh, that many, uh, what the heck are they called? Uh, uh, creep tumors. <laughs> After losing so many creep tumors there at the front, he just never really got started on that creep spreading again, and now he's just 
doing nothing but pumping roaches right now. It looks like he is trying to end this game right here, right now, as we see nothing but roaches and overlords on the production tab. He's trying to continuously drop into the main there, but these Thors are just so good. These Thors are currently plus two in attack upgrades right now. And these Roach Hydra are all 2-0 in upgrades right now as well. Uh, I would say that, if anything, Violet should probably be getting more upgrades. A little bit of a mistake there from Violet, but he is moving out now with lots and lots of Roaches. The Thor count here for Illusion is very high, though. Will Violet have enough to actually take these down? SCVs being pulled off the line a little bit too late. That They are not going to have a whole lot of Thors to be able to repair here as four Thors go down, and now there are only two left. And Violet is still doing nothing but pumping Roaches, Roaches, Roaches and uh, he's pretty confident that he can break this with the second push. Uh, that is, of course, because Thors just take really, really long to build. And if I were Illusion, I would actually be pulling all of these Thors down here to defend right now because if uh, Violet does come with a second round of Roaches, it's going to be really, really, really hard for him to stop. Now, this fourth base has been up here for a while, but notice he hasn't been doing any mining at all, and he's had to pull his SCV so many times to defend 50 workers killed for Violet. That is absolutely unbelievable as the Roach count here is getting ridiculous ridiculously high. We do see 36 roaches currently out on the field. Only 49 workers out on the field right now for Violet as uh, he's mining quite a bit on this gold. Not too much on this third, but mostly gas. Focusing on getting a lot of gas at every single one of these bases. No other tech going down right now for Violet. So he's really trying to look to end this game very early as he's just pumping all of his resources into getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of roaches and lings out onto the field. And it looks like he's getting ready to move in here as he's now bringing down a lot of overlords. Is he going to be going for drops once again? Looks like that might be the case here as these roaches are just the roach numbers are just so big, but notice the Thor count is getting pretty high for Illusion as well. He's continuing to double produce Thors. Ooh, Siege Tanks. We do see Siege Tanks are now coming out here for Illusion as well, but I, are they going to be too late? I would have almost liked to see Siege Tanks a little while ago, uh, but no, so many roaches now moving in here from Violet as he's moving in all the way up to these Thors, and there are not a whole lot of SCVs here to repair all these Thors, and they are getting focused down so, so fast by all these roaches, and these Hellions basically not doing much much damage at all to these roaches. Hellion's pretty much useless against Mass Roach, and I really think that he almost would have been better served by getting up a lot more uh, early, uh, earlier siege tanks rather than get up so many Hellions when he saw that his opponent was so committed to this Roach Hydra style, and it looks like everything is just going to be cleaned up as more Roaches continuing to stream across the map, and GG comes down from OGS Illusion. Violet takes the match 2-0. Brilliant, brilliant play there from Violet albeit a little bit all in, I have to say. Violet had no follow-up to this whatsoever. No infestation pit had been thrown down. No hive. He had stopped producing drones by quite a bit. This was very all in from Violet, but as we can see, it was a very, very strong push. Ended up being ridiculously strong against Illusion. Not quite able to hold it off despite going for a little bit more macro-oriented style. Hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, that match. I couldn't think of the word for it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that match. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Please comment down below. Let me know the kind of videos you guys want to see in the near future. And that is going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Glitch out.